Hi everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm using this kit from Planning World. I think it's B14, I don't know, eight or six. I can't, I'm too far away from my computer to tell. Um, but it's a really pretty kit. I've mentioned before that I love, I don't know who this artist is, but she has a very distinct style of artwork that's very like shabby chic and adorable. And I love it. I think it is super, super cute. Um, so I'm showing you, I have, the full kit, the um, bow header add-on, and then I also buy the, um, oh, is it an A6? No, B6? I don't know. I only have an Erin Condren. I don't have any of those kinds of planners, so I don't know. I think the B6 add-on kit, I want to say. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's a super cute kit. I really like how the week turned out. Um, I am planning the week of June 10th. Now, if you're following along with my plan with me's, and you know that I'm a memory planner, you might be like, Lauren, why... Why are you, why are we seeing the week of June 10th? Last video was the week of May 30 something or May 20 something. Um, my answer is I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> like I really don't know why I can't seem to upload my videos in order. I have like, I mentioned this last time, but I think I have like seven or eight plan with me, plan with me's filmed at this point because I really enjoy filming them and actually planning in my planner. And it's the editing part that I don't love so much. Um, and I've just been like so busy and stuff lately that I, whenever I've like sat down at my computer to edit, I just find like, I've got like, like I said, seven playing with me's filmed over like three memory cards and I just find whichever one's closest to me in that moment and then edit it. And I'm like totally, I don't know, just like, so I, I'm really sorry if you're trying to follow along with like the sequence of events that is my life. Um, because it's so out of order now. I don't even know how to get myself <laughs> back on track. I think the confusion that I had this time was, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I, the last plan with me I filmed, um, or not that I filmed, the last plan with me I uploaded, I, I think it was the week before my cousin's wedding, and no, yeah, maybe, pop, yes, that's true. It was the week before my cousin's wedding, so I, and I like knew that, um, I used a planning world kit that was like these really pretty pastel colors the week before. So then when I picked up one of my memory cards this week and I was like, okay, I'll edit. I, I skipped over the plan with me that came right before that. I'll edit it out here. Um, or I'll edit it here and add it in. I just got the wrong one because this is also a planning world kit with, um, pretty pastel colors, which is totally my jam. Like they're really actually very similar. Um, so you can, I guess, see that that's what my style is and what I like, but, um, I've confused myself and now we're like, we've skipped over, we've done the week before my cousin's wedding, the week after my cousin's wedding, we didn't do the week before, before my cousin's wedding or my cousin's wedding. So I just really need to pull it together. We've also done 4th of July week in my new Erin Condren, but not the like memory plan version of that. So I, there's just a lot going on. I don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> It's like very indicative of how I'm feeling in life right now where I'm just like, I have literally, I'm trying my best, but I have no idea what's happening. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I wish I did. Um, also, I think this may or may not, I can't remember off the top of my head, but this is one of the first videos, if not the first video, aside from the, um, the like live plan with me that I did on 4th of July with the new Erin Condren where I reviewed it. Um, this is the, f one of the first or the first um, times that I'm using my new, um, tripod so I can get a wider, um, shot of the planner, which is good and bad because I can get a wider shot of the planner. So that's really great. Um, the bad part is that, uh, I can get a wider shot of the planner and my head like keeps popping into the, uh, into the shot when I'm like trying to write things down or place things that are difficult to place like headers or something so and that's really embarrassing because most of the time when I plan um I just am like it's the end of the night and I my hair is up in a frizzy ponytail and I have no makeup on and <laughs> I'm wearing pajamas and I look like crap or whatever so it's like my frizzy hair just keeps popping in so that's like really fun and I like tr was trying to edit it out at first and then I was like this is really h hopeless you're just see like there it was like you're just gonna I'm not I'm gonna have to cut out half the video um if I want to cut out my frizzy hair there so anyways I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that I guess um it's 
going to, I'm either going to have to like zoom back in and not have as wide of a shot. But then when that happens, then sometimes I end up cutting out, um, cutting out some stuff that you want to see, you know, like I, I, I don't get it in frame because I don't have, um, a way to like see what I'm filming while I'm filming it, which maybe I need to figure that part out. Maybe that's the key here, but I don't know. Um, yeah. And then the other part too, I'm realizing like the hard part is writing when I write and I don't like put my head right over my planner when I used to, before I used to film my plan with me. Um, I'm not kidding you when I like say that I used to get my face literally like three inches away from the page when I was putting down stickers or writing because I like that's I don't know why like I have to be that close to do it straight or to have good handwriting so I'm considering like maybe not filming myself when I write to like make my handwriting better I don't know but then I like watching people write so I don't know I feel like and I've, I feel like I've had comments on my videos too where people tell me that they like watching me write or they like that I include the writing so I, I don't know what to do about that um Anyways, sorry. I feel like I'm just complaining <laughs> at this point or like uh, just sounding really helpless, <laughs> um, which I'm not. Yeah. Anyways. Um, okay. I'll talk a little bit more about the planner spread. Um, I'm just scattering. I did. Oh, I think I did the, I'm calling it the paper princess formula. I think I put down the uh, full boxes. I'm looking at the planner. Did I? I think this is the order that she does them in, which is interesting because she always, I noticed that she always puts the girl in the, on Thursday at the top there. So I did that. And then, um, I, what she does that's different than what I do is normally on the left-hand side of the planner, like Monday through Wednesday, she does the, um, upper left-hand box, like in the sidebar is up there. And then she doesn't have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there's no box in that top row, which normally I always put like one of the boxes in each like top row, middle row, bottom row on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, but you can see I didn't do that here. I just left it open. So I think that's interesting. It looks good. It looks balanced. So I might, I think I tried it again another week too. Oh yeah. The next week I did. So anyways, I thought that I'd call that out. That's really fun. All the headers, everything I used so far besides the Simply Gilded Washi is from the kit. So, um, yeah, and now kind of into the day by day. Um, I marked, I had one meeting. I marked my meetings this week with, um, she includes little like bow and heart um, kind of dot stickers in her kits, which I like to mark meetings with. Um, or just in general to like build lists out of those. I love when kits include those. Um so that was really, I did that for the whole week. And then it was 98 degrees in San Francisco this day, which is like out of control heat wave. Normally San Francisco is like 60 degrees minimum and like maybe 70s maximum. So that was a really wild day. So I marked that with a flag and then I marked picking up coffee with a quarter box from the kit and a coffee cup from the kit. Um, I worked really late this night and I actually got locked in my building, which was kind of terrifying. Like, thank goodness there was like five other people left on my floor, but the doors wouldn't let us out like into the elevator wall. So that was kind of an experience. And then, um, I marked that with like a half box and a laptop from Crafts by Towie. And then I also meal prepped this night. So she, there's this like very cute deco sticker of bows, I mean, bowls stacked. And then I just put a tasseled planer bow over top. Um, on to Tuesday, I'm marking painting my nails with a Fox and Pip sticker that kind of went with the vibe really well. And then I um, took this order flower sticker from my Whimsical Plans uh, wedding planning sampler. I booked my florist, so um, I there wasn't a sticker that said booked florist, but there was the order flower. So I just layered it over some like floral deco from the kit, and then I added um, some tasseled planner hearts to kind of foil it and make it cuter. And this is a good time to mention too, I do have a coupon code for Tasseled Planner, it's down below. And I also have, I do do PR for Planning World. So that's the kit that I'm using right now. I love Planning World, it's true, she's truly one of my favorite shops. Yuan is like the nicest person ever, she's so sweet and I just love her style and her kits. Um, obviously, like I mentioned, she, they I used a couple of them that are actually really similar. So um, yeah, they're, um, my coupon code for her is Lauren15, and I do really love it. Okay, uh, what I missed on Tuesday, I went on a coffee date with one of my coworkers. Um, so I marked that with a cup from, oh my gosh, why am I blanking? 
I'm blanking on the name. I'll put it down below somewhere. Um, and then the clipboard and the one meeting are both um, the like bow from the for the one meeting are both from the kit and then I layered a tasseled planner bow over the clipboard. Uh, Wednesday again marked my meetings the same way and then I took a half box and a plane from well the half box is from the kit the plane is from GP Sticker Studio. Um, I love her plane so much and then a book script from the Letters to Apollo wedding sampler to mark that I booked the flights for my bachelorette party, which was in San Diego, and it was the weekend of Comic-Con, and I did not understand why my flight to um, San Diego was so expensive, because normally you can fly from the Bay Area to San Diego for, like, no money at all, and it was really, really, really super expensive. Plus, I did some other stuff later that made it more expensive, like change my flight and book my flight on the wrong day and realize that the day before I was supposed to leave and have to pay another hundred dollars to change it back so in case you think I'm really organized from my planner videos think again <laughs> um anyways so that was Wednesday I'm getting lost um I also marked working late on Wednesday with the panda bird design um laptop girl sticker a rose color days heart swish thing and a flag from the kit um on to um Thursday I marked my meeting same way as I have um, or at four meetings that day. We had like a water conservation project happening in our apartment building where they came and replaced a lot of our like water fixtures, like toilet, sinks, shower head, stuff like that to help conserve water. So I used a, um, a flag kind of arrow from the kit. And then that little house is from um, Paper Muse Crafts. I had a call with my sister to talk about like planning some of my bachelorette party stuff. I literally did nothing at all. My cousin and my sisters did all of it, but she we would just kind of talked through a couple of things. So I marked that with an icon from the kit, a phone icon from the kit, and a half box. I marked a bill being due with another icon from the kit. And then again, I worked until like eight o'clock on Thursday night. So I marked that with a laptop, a half box and a laptop from the same shop on Tuesday that I can't remember the name of it and I'll put it down below. Um, okay, Friday was payday. I marked payday with the flag from the kit and that heart script. I love those heart scripts from Rose Color Days. They come on a sampler. Uh, my boss brought us breakfast burritos on Friday, which was really nice. He does that every once in a while. So I used um, a hexagon from the kit and a paper blush bar, a uh, little dainty icon. I marked my meetings the same way as always. And then Steven and I went on a date night this night. So um, we went to this like very cute kind of, um, it was a new bar. It's like, what is the word I'm looking for? Like prohibition style cocktails, you know, which I feel like are very trendy right now. So I used, um, a $2 Tuesday sticker from crafts by Towie to mark that. And then we also went out to dinner, um, at a really nice restaurant. Well, not really nice. I mean, a nice restaurant. It was very good. And I used a crafts by Towie, um, utensil sticker to mark that too in the half box. And then we also watched Big Little Lies when we came home that night. So I used a flag from the kit and then a play button from Magic Prince Co. to mark Big Little Lies. Um, okay, on Saturday, I went to... I don't know where Steven was. I know he didn't come with me, but I don't know why. He must have been doing something. He must have been out of town or something. Um, so I marked going to a spin class um, in the morning at 10 a.m. So I used um, some washi from the kit and then I'm taking one of these boxes from a gold foiled uh, box from My Newest Addiction. Um, and then I put a um, like a little spin bike sticker from a paper blush bar sampler, like a workout sampler. And I love that it has the spin bike because if you watch my videos, you know, I do a ton of spin classes. So I thought that was super cute to mark my class. I loved that. I also have a coupon code for paper blush bar. I think it's also Lauren 15 if I'm remembering cor correctly. And then after my spin class, um, I went to the Starbucks right there. So I took a little um, caffeine sticker, foiled sticker from Paper Muse Crafts, which the deco actually, I'm pretty sure is the same deco from this kit, or at very least the same artist. I think it's the same deco though. So that matched very nicely and I was very pleased about that. And then um, I went to William Sonoma after that. Um, to pick up some um, gifts for, well, Father's Day was the next day, so I got my dad something, and then I think I may have got, I got somebody else something, I can't remember what, um, and I also was just, like, looking at stuff for our registry and stuff like that. 
And then this I think was really cute. These um, film and upload stickers that I'm layering around the planner are from Sticky Sloth Designs, another shop that I have a coupon code for. And then I'm using these tasseled planner kind of like star sparkle stickers. Um, oh, what, when did I jump? Well, anyways, I put those down around, <laughs> around the, the film and upload to mark that I filmed and uploaded a video that day. And then for Father's Day, I took some washi from the kit. Why did that get cut out? Uh-oh. Okay, well, I took some washi from the kit to mark that it was Father's Day with an art box, um, art box planner. Yeah, art box stickers. <laughs> script holiday script and then um I'm marking that for Father's Day we went boating with some family friends so that was really fun we were just kind of spent the entire day out on the lake um lounging and drinking and whatever it was very lazy we didn't do any like water activities I mean besides like laying in a uh in a big like tube thing on the water <laughs> but my friend was in she lives in Hawaii and she was here for a couple weeks because my bridal shower was the next week she had a wedding to go to and they were going on a vacation so it was really great to like be able to spend the whole day with her I marked after that I had dinner at my parents house I just used an icon sticker from the kit and then I also marked again that Steven and I watched Big Little Lies again that night and I used a quarter box and a play no nope, not a play button a film clapper from the kit so like I said I have my new camera angle where I can just do a little viv wiggle instead of kind of doing that whole pan um that doesn't capture the foil quite as well but it's still pretty good so anyways that's all thanks so much for watching bye